Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. You know, there's nothing quite like, like talking to a person that's been there. I was running the other day on a, on a local track at, uh, at the college over here, and, uh, and I looked up, and uh, here comes Fred Dixon. Now, me, next to Fred Dixon, you have every right to laugh, because it is a joke. Fred Dixon was in training for the decathlon. Chuck Swindoll can't even spell decathlon, (laughs) okay? I'm running for survival, he's running for fun. And if you've ever run alongside a decathlon individual, you want to run and hide in the closest barn you can find. And as he came up alongside me, I immediately felt intimidated. I didn't tell Fred that. He knew when I started crying that I had trouble (laughs) right there running alongside him. And of course, I made a joke of it. I said, I don't want to slow your pace down, Fred. Ha ha, ha ha, ha. He said, I thought I'd run. He said, I saw you running over here. I thought I'd run along with you. And then we talked for a few minutes. There's nothing like talking to somebody that's been to the decathlon to know what it's about. He's been there. If it hadn't been cut off right at the pass and we didn't go for the Olympics back in that year when he would have, I think, won, he was the number one American candidate for the task to win it. He'd have won it. He's been there. That's better than studying in a history book and going through all the stuff to find all the theoretical things. Just talk to Fred. I got to say one more thing about this whole thing of intellectualism. If intellectualism were the major key to purpose and fulfillment, our campuses would be camelots of peace and fulfillment. People would gravitate to those campuses and they would find in those campuses fulfillment and dreams and, and the wondrous things of life. What do you find on the campus? Boiling pots, political activism. Communism at work, all kinds of weird ideas, dissatisfied faculty members. Those who do not find their satisfaction above the sun find themselves lost in the morass of their endless philosophies. And the answer isn't just studying more. Do you, can you name one secular scientist who's happy with life? Me neither. Can you show me one man or one woman that is in this heady, high-minded world of intellectualism without God who finds himself fully satisfied rather than in a maddening pursuit for something else? I can't either. I can't find him. You talk about the value of putting Jesus Christ in the center of an intellectual pursuit. Now you're talking. You remove him and you're headed for quick disaster. It won't satisfy apathy rules like king solomon you can spend all the money in the world trying to find the meaning of life in people places and things and just like solomon you'd end up with a world full of stuff and an empty soul. Visible things can't fill an invisible void. Where are you looking for answers to the meaning of life? Business? Money? Achievement? Intellectualism? Drugs? Sex? Take it from Solomon. You won't find it in any of those. His search for purpose and fulfillment led him to find the ultimate secret. It's only through a relationship with the living God that life is meaningful and satisfying. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Chasing the Wind, 
was copyrighted in 1983, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.